Hey everybody, welcome to my latest video. Today I'm going to show you how to potentially get rid of the black field or the black screen problems you're having when playing college football revamped on the PC through the PS3 emulator. Sorry about the phone noise there. Um, I was messing around the other day and I happened to install the game, the emulator and the game and everything on a new computer. And I was getting a lot of uh, black graphics and everything. So first thing you want to do is come into the configuration over to your GPU. And you want to make sure you have it set on legacy single thread and white color buffers. Now some of you can run the shader here if you have a powerful enough system. I can run this one. I just tend to use single thread on this computer because it's only 8 core. Now you guys that have less than 8 core 16 thread, you're going to continue to have problems. If you look at the PS3 emulator uh, site, it'll tell you that you need 8 cores pretty much to run the game. So the guys with less than that, that's a lot of the reason. I get a ton of questions in the comments on my videos, and that is probably the main reason that most people are having trouble. They don't have a powerful enough PC. Your CPU's got to be pretty powerful. Now the catch I found the other night when I was uh, goofing around with it. Oops, make sure I uh, open the right one here. I got to get back to my desktop. Okay, there we go. All right, I have my emulator in a separate folder here. Now, when they when you download and play a new game or you add a new game or you have the emulator for the first time or whatever you need to come in here and delete this games.yml file out and when you start a game it'll automatically generate it back in just on a whim I decided to go ahead and delete this and restart a game and my black field and all that went away now, I don't know if this will help you guys for sure or not but between Making sure you have enough CPU power, 8 core, 16 thread, it's about the minimum. Make sure you have it set to single thread on the GPU and you have the white shaders on. I'll show you that again before we get off here. And if you're still having problems, even if you're not, everybody should come in and delete this games.yml file out and it'll automatically generate it back in. I suggest that you do that. Now one more time on the CP GPU, white color buffers is what I meant to say. So white color buffers, legacy thing, single thread if you're 8 core. I can get it to run on a 6 core laptop, but it runs like shit. So you guys need to keep that in mind. Anyway, I wanted to put that out because I found that and a lot of you guys are having troubles with this. So try deleting that file, reloading the game and regenerating it and see if that problem goes away. But I appreciate you guys. You guys have been killing it lately on my videos. I finally hit the, all my thresholds to be a partner. I've been accepted to the YouTube Partner Program. It's all thanks to you. I appreciate the support in the future. We'll catch you guys on the next video.